20 years ago, I was driving home from a late night wedding gig. It was around 4.30 a.m. and I was driving south on our equivalent of an interstate highway, when at one point, the retaining walls on each side of the highway grew very narrow due to the road snaking through mountain passes and other tunnel-like places. It's not like a particularly dangerous place to drive, but the blind bends definitely made me a little nervous as I slowed down to traverse them. Good job I did too because suddenly, out of nowhere, a young woman jumped out in front of my car and I was forced to slam on the brakes hard. And I was so angry that I got out of my car to shout at her, what was she even thinking that she was doing? She looked up at me, didn't say a word in reply, then actually ran to the passenger side door and climbed into my car. It was then that I realized that she was evidently running from someone or something. So I freaked out for a second and as many minutes, then jumped back into my car and drove off. I kept asking her, are you okay? Who's chasing you? But she only ever replied with, I'm sorry, I just need to call my mom. I just need to call my mom. I told her it was okay, that I'd drive her somewhere so she could call her parents. But I couldn't get a straight answer out of her because she was panicking and crying. We'd both seen the figure in my rearview mirror as we drove away. It caused her to scream out, which made me speed up. I thought she might calm down a little so she could tell me what was going on. But she was terrified and just kept saying I need to call mom. I asked her if she needed any change to use the payphones, but she just looked up at me and said the same thing, I just need to call mom. I think that's when I realized that something wasn't right. She just got out and ran into the grocery store. It was very evident that she was terrified of whoever had been following her. I called the police and told them everything. I kept the car running and kept watching the girl as she used the payphone. The police dispatcher told me it would be around 10 minutes before the police arrived, and I was worried she'd freak out if she found out I'd called them. So, that was what was occupying my mind as I watched the girl put the phone down before she appeared to start walking back towards my car. Suddenly, she stopped, and she turned back towards the gas station as if she'd heard something around the corner of it, which was completely dark and not covered by any lights. I watched as she walked closer and closer towards it, almost like someone was calling her name into the darkness, then, out of nowhere, I saw a man leap out of the darkness, grab her, and drag her back into it. I immediately put my foot down, zooming around to where she'd been grabbed so I can illuminate the darkness with my headlights. It was a matter of seconds, and I thought I'd see some predator trying to drag her behind a dumpster or something, but there was no one there. No one there at all. It actually took my breath away for a moment. There didn't seem to be anywhere for two people to disappear. Just a chain link fence and the rear of the gas station. So where had they gone? Before I got a chance to look any further, the police showed up, so I ran over to their car and frantically told them what I'd just seen. We searched the area completely. They even checked in the back room of the gas station, but... There was no one fitting the description of the girl or the attacker. It was about 5.30 in the morning by that time. I did as I was told and went home to sleep. Naturally, it wasn't the most peaceful sleep of my life, and my first thoughts when I awoke were that that poor girl had been dragged into the shadows. Nothing was in the news about it, and when I contacted the police about it, they just told me it was under investigation. But the thing that I find really scary about the whole thing is how there was a man chasing her when she got into my car on the highway, and we must have driven it at least five or six miles away from the scene. It couldn't have been the same guy who grabbed her, and there's no way of anyone knowing where we were headed. So how was someone able to find her at the gas station? Was it something to do with the phone call she made? I have so many unanswered questions about this event in my life, and sometimes I feel like it haunts me. I find myself scared of total strangers whose names I didn't even know, and as much as I hope she's okay, somewhere, and what happened was part of some horrible but brief chapter in her life, I have the worst feeling that she's not okay at all. <laughs>